guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Um, today I'll be doing, I'll be continuing the series for Visual Basic, and I'll be making a web browser in Visual Basic. I'll start off very, very beginner, and then I'll move on to a very, very advanced, well not very advanced, but advanced web browser. So, I hope you can follow along. And Big Sweaty Rick's here to ask questions. Yes, you will be doing the entire series, I hope. So first we just gonna want to do is just start up Visual Basic, and you should already know how by watching my other tutorials. And again, I have to resize it. So uh, you'll get this page again, and just click a new project or create project. Doesn't matter which one. So new project, Windows Form application again, and this time you can just call it Web Browser. Or whatever you would like. Okay. So you get this little form one thing again. Resize it to how you see fit. And click on it again so that way you can see its properties. Change the text to web browser. There you go. Web browser right there. So now uh, what you're going to want to do is first make a button and I'm going to start off very simple so just a button and let's get a text box where is a text box there okay just even not if you want it doesn't matter stretch this to fit button one's text let's just make it go this is uh, for you to go to the web browser page that you want so then you just add this web browser control click somewhere on the page and here it is resize the tidy see fit I'm just going to use up the rest of the space for now So now you have bu uh, button one, text box one, and web browser one. Because web browser one is a long um, name, I'll just call it uh, WB, that stands for web browser. So since I changed the name, that means I'm changing it for the code also. So that means every time I enter, want to use it in code, I have to type in WB. And I just double click on the go button, which will bring you this uh, generated code. And which for the button one click, type in WB oh, yeah, WB dot navigate to so it's first parentheses text box one dot text. Okay, so now what this is telling uh, your program is that you want your web browser when you click on button one, you want your web browser to navigate to the URL of whatever is in textbox1.txt. So, if we test it out right now, you'll see you have just a, button, a big white space, so we'll fix that later for your homepage, which isn't that cool. Type in hackmefever.com or whatever you like. Click the go button. Size, we maximize it, you'll get stuck with that. I'll show you how to fix that as well. Close it off and um, let's anchor this. That's awesome. The web browser? Yeah. Um, so, what you're going to want to be able to anchor this, what I mean by anchor is that you want it to remain in the same spots, like as far as away as it is right now to when you maximize it. It's kind of confusing. Just click on this anchor button and click on all four of these so all four are highlighted what this means is that when it's maximized it'll stay as far away as it was before to the edges so that way it'll fit now for your text box for your URL just make it top left and right not bottom so that way it doesn't stretch out and then so this will grow as well when you maximize it okay so now, if we test it out this time, uh, click. Wait, no, I'll just show you by maximizing it. You can't really see that much, but you'll see the text box stuck out way far out of the screen, and that the web browser took a full page. Okay, so now let's add a form load code. 
Well, pretty simple so far. Yeah. So just double click on the back button, and this is also really easy. WB dot go back because this was for back button. There's your code, and then for your forward button, WB dot go forward. Those were two easy buttons. Okay, so now that you've done that. Uh, let's make it so that in the text box after it's done navigating it will show you what the real URL is like with the HTTP www.com and whatever so what you're going to want to do is go back to your uh, code scroll down on this thing type in uh, go to WB then find navigated so once it's uh, navigated to the web page you'll want to make text box one dot text is equal to um, wb dot url dot two string so now what this is telling it is that you'll want to change text box one to whatever the current url is uh, two string means two letters like uh, it'll show up in words so let's try this again yeah, see, hacking fever loaded with HTTP and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you can work it now. But I also know you guys want to be able to press enter and be able to navigate to web pages as well. So, let's say text box. This is how you be able to press enter and then uh, have your form load up. Uh, text box. The form load up with just printing enter. So, text box one. Then you have to go to key down event. Let's try to find it. Key down. And then I already have this code already ready, but it's if e dot key code equals keys dot enter, then but this is basically saying if uh, enter is pressed, then we want wb dot navigate to text. Now also another thing you want to check before you do this is that on your form, click on your form, and there should be a button that says like, um, I forget what it is, sorry. Uh, I think it's accept button. No, not accept button. a button that will you probably say enter if you if this doesn't work like pressing enter doesn't work then just change that to none I think it is accept button but yeah just leave it at that so let's test it now I got hackingfever.com let's type in youtube.com press enter there you go load it up YouTube with just for enter thank you for watching this tutorial and I'm surprised big sweaty man Rick, or whatever your name is, didn't have any questions, but that means this was probably very simple. Quite simple, thank you. Okay, so please continue watching the other videos in this series, and see you next time.